Oh, Fabio. Hey, Brenda, nice shirt. Yeah. I know, I, I just was trying to show it off. <laughs> I have this person with one spell and I found some really good looking spikes, but there's something off about them that I'm not really sure. What do you oh, think? Oh, those look wicked. They're definitely spikes, look at them. Just pretty. I, I don't know. I, I think these might be something else. I, we should bring yeah. in a specialist. I, I know uh, a wicketologist, um, Dr. Cassano. AKA EEG Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, this is a really cool EEG, and this is yeah. such an important thing to recognize. So, what it, what about these make you think that they're epileptiform discharges? Yeah, I think they're pretty spiky. Yeah, they're pretty spiky. Yeah. But everything that's spiky is an epileptiform, right? There's some characteristics of this that should make you pause um, a little bit. So, mm -hmm. look at the. Um, First, look at the frequency of these. Mm -hmm. They're kind of, if you look, they're kind of oscillating at the same frequency as the background activity, right? Mm -hmm. mm. True, yeah. And are they disrupting the background? They're not really disrupting the background. Can you elaborate on that? You know, we don't really see any um, any disruption in terms of um, amplitude. Like it's the same amplitude as the background, the same frequency as the background. We don't see slow waves afterward. Yeah. It, you know, it's it's kind of very similar to the background in terms of frequency mm -hmm. and amplitude, except it's spiky. You know, it doesn't catch your eye in that way. I see. That makes sense. I mean, I, wouldn't you say though, the, at least one of them, I mean, I've, the amplitudes look a little different to me. They, it looks like they're, you know, they're little higher amplitude and that's probably why Fabio stopped on it. Yeah. If you look a little further, um, there's some activity. Oh, you're right. No, it's you're a right. little yeah. around the same. These guys. But yeah, right there, it looks like he's kind of drowsy there for a second and those kind of pop out. So yeah, mm -hmm. they are, they definitely or something you'd notice. Hmm. Okay. I think what is that? The amplitude kind of waxes and wanes a little bit. And look, mm -hmm. look at this yeah, average. I have to call these guys spikes. I'm not convinced. What about the morphology? They're symmetric, I think. Yeah. Um, going slow, down going slow. Do, do does that tell you anything? I think it goes against spikes based on mm -hmm. some of the criteria. Yeah, yeah. That um Mm -hmm. You know, that morphology where it looks symmetric kind of makes, gives pause as well. So mm -hmm. taking all of those things together, it's um, probably um, some, a normal variant. They're a little bit enveloped, right? They, Envelope, what does that mean? Not, not great, but don't they seem sort of rise and fall a little bit? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It does, yeah. Yep. Yeah. What does it have to do with an envelope? <laughs> Maybe the flap on the envelope goes like. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Isn't the idea though when we say something is enveloped that um, somehow it's a a faster kind of oscillation, probably being modulated by a slow something slow. Um, so so in this case that and that can make it look more accentuated, you know, accentuated. Mm -hmm. and, out than, than it deserves to look, I guess. Right. Because so, I, I think you were arguing that really this is probably some, just the ongoing background oscillation, mm -hmm. uh, but just, you know, for whatever reason, st sticking up a little more. Yes. And mm -hmm. you know, for whatever reason, happening to look a little spikier, but, but fundamentally it's not a different rhythm. Mm -hmm. Correct. It's like the, the background rhythm looking different there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does the fact that it's temporal help us at all or, or not really? It does. Um, you know, usually we see this variant in the temporal region, but it has, you know, you can see similar activity in other brain regions. Um, that's the same frequency as the background activity and it just can kind of change. And so this isn't necessarily um, only seen in the temporal region, though that is the most common. Mm -hmm. What do you, what do you call it? These are wicket spikes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, why they, where that name <laughs> comes from? Um, wick, uh, wickets must have that appearance. A wick, they have a very wickety appearance. What's a wicket? Is it the Indian the cricket thing that they play with? It's a, <laughs> it rhymes with cricket. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Isn't there a wicket fence? 
Oh, it could be that. Right? We, we probably better look this up. Yeah, let's, let's, we gotta Google this. Edit this thing out. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a small door or gate, especially one bedside or one mm. or a larger one. Mm. Oh, and then like you said, in cricket. Yeah. Three stumps with See? two bales like across the top. Yeah, like these guys. Oh, oh that's yeah. a yeah. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, now we know. So, but there's there's still spikes though. So is that is it epileptiform or or is it completely benign? No, this is a normal variant. So these are not associated with epilepsy. They um, there is some possible association with other conditions like vertigo, um, but not with epilepsy. And these are you know it's really important to recognize these because they do look really spiky. And so it's really, you know, not uncommon for these to be misread and overread. Yeah. And that's just one thing I always tell my trainees, you know, to, you know, under, un, it's better to underread than overread. Mm -hmm. um, because once you read this as epileptiform, you're going to sentence some yeah. poor person to anti seizure medication for who knows how long, right? It's true. And then you got someone else is going to have to pick up the pieces and tell them, you know. Yeah. That wasn't actually epileptiform and that's happened to all of us yeah but these are classic wickets so the the morphology mm -hmm. the frequency the location so wickets classically phase reverse right in the mid temporal region mm -hmm. which these do and so these are yeah. and they happen during drowsiness this we can see this person you is drowsy. Are the best. You good to meet you and thanks yeah nice to meet you too the thanks for having me this is fun talk show in the world <laughs> Oh!